hello everyone, welcome back to another iRacing stream, video, whatever you want to call it. And this week we're at Phoenix International Raceway on the road course, also known as the Roval. Just get the replay underway. So once again, um, it's the Sim Labs production car challenge. That's me in the blue and white car number 23 this week. And I qualified a P13, lucky for some. So this is uh, week four, no, week three of the season four, 2021 season. And I'm sorry I'm a little bit late this week. Uh, I normally do the race on a Tuesday, but this Tuesday I had my flu jab. One of the perks of getting old. So by the time I got home Tuesday night, it was quite late and I didn't want to be um, sitting down and doing a two hour race. So I've recorded it Thursday and I'm hoping to get the video out Friday if um, you see this then. So once again, this is a 25 minute race. Um, it's all Mazda MX-5's 28 car lineup. I qualified as a 109.1. .1. My best lap in practice was a 108.5. Guy on pole was doing a 106, 107, so yeah. Rolling start, we're coming around to the start now. Just waiting for the pace car to pull off and we'll be underway. And I think that's it. Um, I'm not familiar with the circuit. Five minutes. Okay, Dean, get ready. Kano has now retired. As I said, I'm really not used to the circuit. Uh, I've never raced it before. So I did about 40 minutes of practice, got a general idea for the course, and then just thought, sod it, I'll do it. It's not the most interesting race, but it wasn't boring either. I won't give it away any more than that. So let's sit back and watch it. So as mentioned, it is an oval track, but this is the road version of it, so it's an infield track as they call it. I'm not a great fan of these, even the India Lapis one, I just, yeah, there's something about them I don't like. But it wasn't too bad. So you can see already on lap one, there's been three or four cars that have gone off, which is the usual thing. Qualifying in P13 out of 28, that's right smack bam, almost in the middle, and that does worry me. But um, I kept my nose clean for the first lap. I was also very aware that um, this last couple of weeks I've had high incident scoring weeks, which has not done my safety rating any good. So I've sort of gone out this week thinking I'm going to try and have a clean as race as possible. Doesn't always work, but that's what I went out doing. Once again, um, there was about three or four cars. The car in front of me there with the purple nose and sort of teal rear. We were pretty much together most of the race. And there was another car, I can't remember who it was now, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't the one behind me, but it could have been. No major incidents this week to talk about. Um, I did have one contact, but it was just a minor touch. And I did hit the wall a couple of times. <laughs> Oops. Uh, again, setup is suspension only. I did try some different setups, but I was doing slower times than the default setup. 
so I've just stuck with a very baseline default setup for this track. I'm about P10 at the moment, maybe P8, I can't remember. I said there was a few people who did go off in the first lap, which is quite common. three sectors, I'm not really sure where I was the slowest. Probably this first couple of corners I wasn't the quickest. Uh, the middle section I was alright, and then the last section I was alright. It's, um, I think a bit more practice. I could have certainly knocked a second or two off my time, which would have put me roughly where the pole guys were. Definitely moments when I was faster than cars around me, and there was definitely cars that were faster. Yeah, that's me contact. <laughs> I noticed I was much quicker into that last corner than him. He was braking really early, so I just went for a lunge. Sorry, pal, but you do get your revenge on me later. Uh, last Thursday, I also did a Skip Barber race, which is like open wheel, two litre cars. Lower than Formula 3, nothing special about them, but I had yeah, quite um, a bad race because I, I did a Max Verstappen basically and cut someone off at a corner and um, ended up on top of him. It looked quite familiar till a couple of weeks back in Formula 1. And I got disqualified and yeah, I had a, yeah. So I'm trying to just be a bit more aware of giving people space. It's quite hard as a computer game because obviously you've got no peripheral vision. That wasn't my fault. He came around the inside of me. You do get a spotter that tells you there's a car right, there's a car left. But it's still quite hard to know where someone spatially is. As I said, this week I was trying to be a bit more cautious, a bit more safety aware. Um, I needed to get my safety rating up, because if it does go too low, you will get uh, dropped to class. So I'm definitely aware that I need to be a bit more cautious, less aggressive. I also want to get my I rating score up a little bit. There's two things in I rating. You've got your safety rating and your I rating. Your safety rating obviously um, determines what class of license you get. And your I rating determines the sort of level of quality of opposition you get sort of chosen against when it um, sets up the races. This is what I went up to about P6, I think. Managed to squeeze past that guy as well. One of them was a 
A blue flag, guys, so he did get out of our way. Blue flag meaning he's at least a lap down. So again, the guy with the purple nose has said he, we were with each other the whole race, more or less. Uh, the green with the gold stripes, um, again, I think he was around us. Seem to remember having a bit of a battle with him. Seem to remember. God, I only raced like two hours ago. That's it. The advantages of getting old. It's a 12-week season. So this is week three, so nearly up to the first quarter of it. And if you do eight of those 12 races, you get four dollars back, I think. Which you can't withdraw, but you can use then against tracks and cars and things like that. As I mentioned, I'm also doing a skip barber, um, but I'm not doing very well at that, so this week I can only do one race, so it's going to be the production car one, because that's what I'm taking a bit more serious. I am enjoying the skip barber, it's just I'm not... yeah, I haven't had very good results so far. That car's just come out of the pits, luckily it wasn't causing me too much of a hassle. But, um... Yeah, the guy with the purple nose, he's got a couple of cars just got past him. I was aware of that, so I was quite pleased about that. But I also noticed this white car was definitely quicker than me, because he caught me up very quickly. As I said, because I'm aware I will need to get my safety rating up, any car that was definitely quicker than me, I was... I was certainly wasn't arguing with them. I was letting them... Not pass, but, you know, I wasn't blocking them sort of thing. The guy in the green, I was aware, certainly on a couple of corners, I was quicker than him. That first one, for example, I caught him right up. Uh, I was also aware the guy in the white was right with me. So we've got to be very careful here. We could take each other out if we're not careful. I think the guy in the white, he must be quite an experienced driver because he was being quite well behaved. I think the guy, the guy in green with the gold stripe, I think he's feeling the pressure a little bit here. So I dive down the inside again. But he undercuts me on because I went in way too quick. So I've actually lost two places then. Well, one place to the guy in white. And the guy with the purple nose has caught me right up. So I was aware I sort of... I tried something, but it didn't work. I suppose, you know, if you don't try, you don't know. Again, this first corner, I knew I was quicker than him, so you can see that he's now lost two places. And I just think to myself now, right, I know the guy in white's quicker than me, can I stick with him? So I'm trying to basically keep up with the guy in white. I fluffed that one up a bit too quick, went too wide. See, I'm very aware I can't make too many mistakes because there is two cars just behind me.
Yep, this bit coming up now. The left and the double apex right. That was definitely my weakest points, I think. I fluffed this one up quite a few times in the race. You can see there now the car with the, the white sort of blue nose caught me up quite quickly because I way too slow around that one. But more importantly, the, the white car in front of me is getting further away from me, so I'm trying to catch him back up. Again, I've realized this guy behind me looks a little quicker than me, so I'm probably going to let him pass. I have a feeling he's a blue flag. I seem to remember he was a blue flag, but... As I said, as a blue flag driver, you are allowed to overtake or under-lap yourself, I think it's called. Provided you don't interfere with anything that's going on, you know, the race itself. So once again, I'm thinking, okay, he's quicker than me, so I'll let him go. And I'll just try and stick with him. Doesn't always work, but I'll try it. About 10 minutes of the race left, so we're over halfway. I think I'm P7 at the moment. I'll just bring up the information screen and have a look what position I am. P6. Better than I thought. So that's not that bad. Then start P13, currently P6. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get a podium, but that's a top 10 finish. Left that hairpin up, went in too late, not concentrating enough on what I'm doing, thinking about other things. So I'm, I definitely remember saying to myself now, <laughs> telling myself off. I really need to get a good couple of laps. The guy with the purple nose is catching me up. So yeah, I'm thinking to myself now, right, just head down. I'm not going to catch the guys in front. They're obviously quicker than me, but at least let's try and get a gap against the guy behind me. So he's right up on my tail. Again, I'm mostly thinking to myself, I really could do with some a uh, good, clean race less. I don't want to do another sort of 15, 14, 15 incident points like I have this last couple of weeks. I think I'm currently on about five. So he's making a mistake there. He should be right up behind me, getting the stream off me, which will give him the toe, give him a bit more speed. But he's sort of sticking his nose out to one side, so probably less experienced than I... Th he's about the same sort of lap times as me, so... <laughs> says so all, really. He went for a dive, but... Wisely pulled back, because that could have taken both of us off. That also made me very aware that he's going to try a few dives, so I need to be careful. Um, it's quite hard to go defensive on this track, because there's not a lot of places to do that. It's, qu it's quite a tight, windy track. With the exception of the, the, the last part of the oval. So I really need to be getting this hairpin right at the end here. 
Yeah, that was a good one. I got that one all right. So you need to be on the accelerator, full on the accelerator, by the time you hit the apex. Don't know why it's going out so wide there. as it could be. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't as good as it could be. Again, he should be tucking in as close as he can to my rear so he can get a good stream and pull off me. You can probably gain an extra 10 miles an hour by the end of the straight if you're tucking in behind someone. Bugger this one right up, way, way too wide there. I did give him space because I thought he was going to go for it. But yeah, I came in way too fast, not well, not slow enough. Didn't quite break enough entering that corner. I'm th keep thinking to myself, stop making mistakes, come on, get your head down. Coming down to the hairpin, again, think myself, come on, get it right, get it right. And... Got it totally wrong, smacked the wall. That actually put me tracking out on the front right tyre. Luckily, it didn't affect my top speed. But, you know, I had a little bit of an hour, a little kick to the left on my steering. And I also now very aware he's round the inside of me. I'm not going to fight him, I'm going to let him have the space. But for some reason he pulls back, I don't know why he did that there. He could have kept down the inside of me quite nicely. He's probably thinking I've made a couple of mistakes on this corner, so yeah, you can see he's... But he's playing fair, he's playing fair, okay, yeah, fair dues to him. That's what I do like about these um, higher class races. In Rookie I would have been off many times by now with people smashing into me. But once you do get up into the D's and C's, it's a much more gentlemanly race. Again, I made a little mistake there. I'm very aware of that. So, is let's have a look. There's only about three minutes left, maybe two laps. I'm still currently P6. So all I'm really thinking to myself now is, can I hold them off for two laps? He's got down the inside of me. I'm thinking, yeah, okay, fair enough. Um, keeping an eye on the blue, uh, the green car with the gold stripes, because I know he's going to try and do the same. I'm not going to fight this corner. I want to finish now with a clean, or oh, as little instant points as possible. So I pretty much let that guy go there. He's been fighting hard left for it, so again, though, uh, my thoughts are now just trying to stick with him. Um, maybe he'll make a mistake and I can get that place back. 
I mean, P7, it's not a bad place. I think that little nick in the wall has definitely upset my steering on the, the, the more sharper corners like this one. I'm sort of not quite getting the grip I should be getting. I've pulled a little gap away from the guy behind. I've just got to stick with this guy now. This. One, maybe two laps left, I can't remember. Yep, there's the white flag, so last lap. As long as I can stop him drafting too much now, he uh, should technically stay behind me. So I'm just watching my mirrors, seeing if he's going to lunge down the inside on a draft. And then by this point, I'm thinking, nah, he's too far back now. He ain't go. Here comes the line. There we go. P7, I think. So it didn't turn out to be too bad. It wasn't a fantastic race. I was trying to be clean. Um, I was trying not to have too many incidents and get some extra points, so it wasn't too bad. It wasn't most exciting, but all right. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll make more. Um, but for now, yeah, thank you very much, and see you next time. Bye.